Hey, what's up? This is Orion's Angel. Welcome to my channel. Before I get started, I just want to say thanks to everyone um, who subscribed. I have now 600 subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. It means a lot. I'm trying to improve my channel every day, and um, without you guys, I can't do that. So thank you very much for supporting me. And okay, on with the video. Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to add overlays to a retro arc, which a lot of people have been asking me lately. So, first of all, you're going to get your um, you're going to download the overlays which are at the bottom in the description of each uh, video I put. You want to get your overlays pack, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to where retro arc is installed. And then you're going to want to go to where it says overlays. And in here is where you're going to want to dump your overlays. Now, you can name the directory whatever you want. So, for example, I call this one where my overlays are for consoles. You'll see it right here. You'll see they're all here. I unzipped the pack here, and they're all here in the directory. So you can see. Here I have my handhelds overlays for the, all the handheld systems. I call that handheld. Here I have the ones that have a, like a glass panel TV screen on the cover to give it that old timey TV effect. So it's in overlays here, retro arc where it says overlays. Here's where you're going to want to put your overlays just to Tell you again, there you go. Okay, now you're going to want to go to your launch box now and pick a game. I already have the overlay there, so you're going to want to press F1. That'll take you to a retro arc. Uh, you should have your uh, core loaded, which I do right there, Genesis Plus. So now you're going to want to go to video and aspect ratio you're going to want to set the custom uh, now all these are depending on the game they're not all going to be the same so for example this is the one i have for the genesis you're going to want to put uh, into integer scale off that's going to be like that 5.0 so custom view you're going to want to put the height that's going to be the height it's going to be the width this is going to um, center the entire screen, the X and Y center the entire screen. So it'll either put the screen left, right, depending on how you set these. But what you're going to want to do with the other systems is you're going to want to do, you know, trial and error. See which one works. Keep trying until you get it right. So, yeah, this isn't that hard. So you put aspect ratio custom this is 281 25 for this one 1356 1018 but like i said earlier it's not going to be like that for every system i'll show you with another system in a few seconds so now you're going to want to go back go to quick menu you're going to want to go to shaders and you're going to want to add cr2 geome shader right here um which is in i believe crt shaders uh i believe this one doesn't come with retro arc but i could be wrong the i believe the crt geome doesn't come with uh, retro arc i think you have to get it yourself but i i don't remember so okay now i'm gonna put the overlay so what you want to do is go back Go here to the second screen, the one with the two cogs. You're going to want to go down and you want to go to on screen overlay. You're going to want to go to overlay preset. And now remember everything I showed you that was in overlays. Now it's going to be here. See consoles, game pads, handhelds. You're going to want to go to consoles for this one. And you're going to want to pick um, the Genesis one, which is right here. Sega Genesis, you're going to want to press F1 again, and there you got the overlay on. Now, if you want to add 
the one with the um, glass panel go here I put that the glass panel one I pick now instead I go to Sega Genesis and now we have the one that has the TV effect Let's see uh, right now though I'm not using that one so I'm gonna take it off because so now we're gonna do um, For handheld systems, it's a little bit different. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pick a game and, okay, I'm gonna press F1, we're gonna go back here and you're gonna see right here. Now, the thing about handheld systems is they're not all the same. It's not as easy as the console where all the screens are just about the same size. So you, they're kind of mostly all the same sizes or you can figure out, you know, trial and error, like I said earlier, figure this is a little bit different because each one is radically different, usually the numbers. So for instance, this one, you have to put config 00, zero here, 512, and here integer scale is on. So... Now, what you want to do here is uh, for all the cores, you got to go to quick menu and go to options. And now this will open up the core options for the DS. And you want to go in here and you want to put the screen gap to 95. And now that'll separate the screen at the perfect distance, just like the real DS between the top and the bottom screen. So it'll look like this. Let's see. Now, if we go to a different system, like the Sega Game Gear, it's a different story. So, I'm going to pick a game. And now I'm going to press F1. I'm going to go to video. And you're going to see a totally different number here. 640 by 576. Scale 3. Here it's custom instead of uh, config like the other one was. So, it's going to be different for all the systems. I'm going to be including in all the descriptions the video settings for each one. I've already done it for some, so just wait for that. And so adding adding the overlays is the same for everything, no matter if it's a handheld or console. So now, oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier that when you're adding these overlays, you're going to want to press save current config because you want to save your settings, obviously. So now here's another thing. So you want to add different overlays to a system, but you're using the same core for the three systems. For example, I have the Genesis Mega Drive and I'm doing Mega Drive Europe games. Now they're all using the same core. Now the problem is since they're on the same core, they're all using the same overlay. So if I open up, um, a Mega Drive game, it's going to open up with the Genesis overlay, but I want it to open up with the Mega Drive overlay. Now, how do we do that? Now, you're going to want to go back to RetroArch, where your directory folder is. You're going to want to go to Cores and search Genesis. And here's the original, the Retro um, Core. It's called Genesis Plus GX. This is the one I have working with the Sega Genesis. Now, in order for each um, overlay to to appear for each separately for each um, console you load, you're gonna want to rename this the the original core. So make a copy of this core and rename it. For example, 32x. SG one thousand for the SG. So for the for example the Mega Drive one, I put Mega in the title and renamed it. So each so the original core gets renamed uh, whatever to whatever console you're using. Okay, that goes the same for the for the if you have config files that goes the same for those. So they would be renamed the exact same thing. 
This one's called Mega Europe. See, the Mega one is the same as the one here in the core. So, see, same name. So, so you go back to LaunchBox. Now you're gonna wanna go to Tools, Manage Emulators. You're gonna wanna go to RetroArch, edit that, Associated Platforms. You're gonna want to go to, for example, Sega Mega Drive, and you're gonna wanna put the renamed core here. So that would be slash L, quotation mark, cores, slash, Genesis underscore plus underscore mega underscore libretto dot DLL. And you're gonna wanna click default emulator. And if you wanna add the config, that would be slash C quotation mark configs um, slash, and then you would put the core dot config. So there you go. This is how you put, see the Mega Drive one? Look, you'll see it right there. Mega Europe, that's the, the one I renamed is there. Now each uh, console knows exactly what overlay to open for each system. Then you press OK, close. And now this is the, uh, what do I have open? The Mega Drive Europe one. And now you'll see the Europe one opens. So if I go to Mega Drive from Japan, and you'll see that one opens with the Japanese theme. That's how you add overlays to uh, to your uh, consoles and handhelds. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please thank you for all your support and uh, for watching all my videos. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.